Hello and welcome to Mutual Fund Sahih Presents Outside View. So New Zealand have taken a lead of 4-0 in the series and India and New Zealand will now face each other for the fifth and the final ODI on Thursday. New Zealand have taken the lead of 4-0 in the series and they'll now face India in the fifth and the final ODI on Thursday. For India, there are a lot of uncertainties over the playing 11 for tomorrow's game. Harmanpreet Kaur did not feature in the last ODI, so it is for all of us to watch if she plays this game. Also, will India bring back Julian Goswami or they'll continue with Renuka Singh Thakur, Meghna Singh and Pooja Vastrakar is another thinking point. Smriti Mandana finally made her comeback to the setup but wasn't able to make a larger impact with the bat in the last game. But heading into this match, she'll be all determined to finish things off on a positive note for India. The talks yet again revolve around the same thing that is the consistency of the middle order, the below par fielding and the struggles to defend the total. For New Zealand, things are going on a very good note. Their key players are in good form and that is allowing them to dominate the proceedings. They have tried different combinations without having faced a defeat in the series yet. Amelia Kerr has been in a splendid form, making valuable contributions for the team with both the bat and the ball. India will have to put their thinking hats on to find the winning template, whereas New Zealand will aim to whitewash the series. So what are your predictions on this match? Do you think India can avoid a whitewash? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, stay tuned to Women's Cricket Zone for all the updates on women's cricket.